meme coins are the big thing, but 99% of them are just complete rug pulls, taking people's money. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is DaVinci Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5 five five here in Dubai. I hope you're doing well. We're going to be going over a few news articles and then heading over to the charts, Bitcoin and Ethereum, and showing our trade, seeing how well it's doing, and also, you know, seeing if there's additional trades for you guys out there who missed that one. So if you're interested in trading, make sure you head over to buybit.davinciej15.com. Links are in the description below, and you can get up to $30,000 worth of um, deposit bonus if you like to deposit at bybit.davinciej15.com. Okay, Binance CEO says Nigeria's detention of employee is spurious, charges a set dangerous precedent. Okay, spurious. It just means fake, false. BS, but you know how it is, right? You got to be politically correct. And since, you know, spurious is not the word that most people understand or comprehend, it makes it sound not so bad. Just like, yeah, maybe you shouldn't do that. It shouldn't be lying like that. <laughs> but as CEO Richard Tang has warned Nigerians' decision to invite and subsequently detain mid-level employees on what he calls spurious charges set a dangerous precedent for companies worldwide. Tang states that certain lawmakers in Nigeria demanded a significant payment in cryptocurrencies to dismiss the charges against Binance. Well, I guess that means I'm not going back to Nigeria now, am I? <laughs> wow, it's pretty bad over there when that kind of thing happens, basically, you know, the judges and everybody are, are broke, right? Because government keeps printing so much money. And uh, so this is what they're doing, right? They, they, everybody had left Nigeria somewhere, the, the CEO, not just the CEO, I'm talking about the employees of Binance left around January. I think it was January 9th that they decided to leave. Hey, there it is, January 9th, the morning of January 9th to leave. And then they were asked, to come back and, you know, don't worry, you, you'll be safe, you'll be safe. And then obviously that was a lie. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty, pretty bad of this government, right? And, you know, they should probably look, the government leadership should look into it, but they probably also want to get a piece of that pie of, you know, uh, what's it called? Well, it's basically kidnapping, basically, right? A state-sanctioned kidnapping, right? So there it is. Okay, meme coin creator said he has no hands, so he couldn't rug pull. He lied, right? No hands, no rug. Man, you know, this guy showing his face, right? At least, you know what? He showed his face, which this is really dangerous for him, right? Especially if you watch this, this video here, right, of him. Let's see here if I can play this video again all of a sudden having hands and just immediately taking all, right, all the people's money out. Boom, rugging the whole thing. For what? Do you know, honestly, people like this, they have to understand, right? There's a lot of, lot of um, whilst you could, you are thinking, yeah, I'm gonna steal all this money from people. You have to understand, you're stealing from, you might be stealing from the wrong person because there's a lot of like yeah, higher level criminals than you are. People who will actually, you know, might actually send someone very negative to your, your place to do very negative things. <laughs> so I don't know how this man is going to sleep at night, right? <laughs> because honestly, that's bad, right? And you know, I, I, you, you should really be careful of uh, meme coins, right? You know, even, even meme coins that are like, you know, like this one, right? Mine, right? It is, it is, it's still a big risk, right? You know, are we going to get enough people to, to, you know, get interested in the waffles coin? I don't know. I don't know. Is, is the market there for us? I don't know. I, I'm thinking maybe because dog with hat did it. So why can't we, right? I'll give it a shot, right? That's all we're doing, right? Now, 
at least we're not we're not rugging, right? But when you click on the, the deck screener and you go to the, the new pairs, all of these turn into rug. We can pretty much watch if this is like the next, in the last hour. Let's just go to the last hour. Let's take a look at this. This is going to turn into, turn into the rug pull again, right? Look at this. It's got it's like almost a million dollars worth of liquidity, right? And it's not locked, right? You can see it's not locked, the liquidity. So that's you can see that that's going to pull. If it was a lock button beside it, you can see it would be locked. So the person could could just pull the whole liquidity, and that's that. Token gone. You're, all your money's gone. Also, even if it is locked, right, they could have bought up a lot of the, the token well before you did and then sell the token down majorly, right? So there it is. We could probably watch any of these. These recently listed tokens. We watch them pump and dump. Look at this. What the hell? Peter Trump has got two million in locked liquidity. Right? Insane. Insane. And so obviously they have some sort of plan for this. They they have bots or something like that that as soon as they list it, they bought it up all this way up here. And so they can like wipe you out. Please be careful with meme coins. Okay. That said, let's take a look at the charts. You can see that well, the short is still shorting, right? If you follow the short, yeah, that you're you're still in it to win it. Last night I was at the moon show and I told you guys to short uh, uh, this as well, but unfortunately there was a little bit of stop out because you know we were looking at this here and I was stopped. The stop loss is right here. And just above here, and that's a 62.5, and then it just stopped us out. And then it continued to M over the night and then down. down. I hate, hate it when that happened. It is what it is. The stop, that's the real, the, the real stop loss is right here. The, when, it, when it comes to Forex, that's just the way it is. The one to one, and so I've noticed that the one to one ratio of trades are actually effectively that. Because we were talking about this would be our target, and so as as forex trades go, right? I've noticed that you know, and see, we had our target hit our target. I said that the you know the 60, 61 ish area was the target last night, and you can see it was there. This trade was there for you, but man, the market is uh, different now that you know the ETF is here and all the you know the big players are here so I have to like adjust to the new market dynamics yeah it doesn't give you clear entries right to to get in it likes to like wipe you out a little bit before it before you get that that trade so maybe I need to adjust the way I trade in order to to, to manage the short-term trades on this market. Okay, moving on. Ethereum did no such thing <laughs> because it's not part of the uh, the what's it called the cabal controlling it. You see, you can see that Ethereum is on its way, sliding down. I hope you're in this trade. If not, you might get another chance as Ethereum has it has an opportunity. There is an opportunity for us to just come back up to the target to our to our entry level or to the this downward trend line one more time and then fail heavily so be ready for that though the reason why is because you know what we're creeping down on the uh, indicators so that usually means that we're going to have one more pump up back up and then we'll see that that it will roll over from there or we'll just do a quick wake up and then down uh, so one of those things so you could probably have have your entry somewhere up here at the, the 30 3100 dollar mark for ethereum okay well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know I did. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.